The corn patch has done very well this year. The variety is Golden Bantam. It was interplanted with pumpkin, an unnamed variety, which will be orange when, when it is ripe and ready for harvesting. My young orange tree has been a bit dwarfed by the corn but it doesn't seem to be too bothered. It actually has two little oranges on it. The corn has done so well. This is how tall it got. I'm not sure if bantam is supposed to be the size of the corn pods or the size of the plant itself. But in either case I wouldn't call them bantams. Last week I harvested a cob and it wasn't really ready. How do you know when your sweet corn is ready to harvest? The silk needs to dry off and get quite dry. Mine was browned off but wasn't really getting brittle. I wouldn't call this brittle but I'm going to have a go at this one anyway this week. The cob itself is a lot thicker than the one last week. I didn't photograph it, which would have been a big help for comparison purposes. I did have a bit of a nibble on it, but the sweetness wasn't there that you would expect from fresh picked sweet corn. So let's have a look at this one. It's a two-handed job. You don't want to break this. When I came into the patch to um, get in position, all the pollen from this all rained down on me. You can't see it, but yep, there's plenty of it there still. Although it's getting way too late in the season for new cobs. Anyway, here we go. You simply break that off. That outside leaf by necessity is sacrificed. Let's open it up and have a look. So we'll pull aside the husk. I just drop it on the ground and there it will stay. It's a very pale still. Break that off. It has a nice filling of kernels. To get a nice filling of kernels you need your corn planted in a block, not rows. Mine are in two small blocks because the ones I had in the middle died so it wasn't by design that's just how it ended up. As you can see a good fill of kernels all around which comes from planting in a block like I said but much paler in colour than I was anticipating. Let's do a bit of a taste test. Okay, so let's do a bit of a taste test. The sweetness is definitely not there yet. Maybe another two weeks. You could still eat it. I don't think it would give you a tummy ache. It's just not the sweetest. Not sweet at all, actually. This is the sight that met my eyes this morning. Two corn cobs, or ears of corn, have been attacked by rats. We do have a few rats around. Unfortunately, rodents are a part and parcel of keeping poultry. Here's the third one they've had a go at. So this is all the motivation I need to get harvesting. It is one week after I harvested the last ear of corn and decided it wasn't quite ready. But the rats have decided that it is. Grr. And more damage. That's five now. So I have pulled off these ears of corn Everything that looked halfway edible, anything that they've had a go at, I've just left on the ground. I do chop and drop anyway for mulching. I'd have to say this is more than one night's work, so I will check them daily from here on in. 
these ones just don't look ready. So there is no point me pulling them off now anyway. I did take one off that wasn't quite ready. The silk was brown but when you look inside it it's not ready so it wasn't really edible but also in the meantime I will be resetting my rat traps both here and up in the chicken run. Having said all that Cobber mightn't leave them any. He's quite partial to them himself. Also in the meantime I don't want the rats helping themselves to my pumpkins which are coming along quite nicely. I had to lift this one out from between the boulders before it got stuck. No, you can't have my good ones, Cobber. You can only have the rat chewed ones. Now that Cobber has decided they're good to eat, I've had a closer look at them. The ones the rats ate opened them up a bit and some of them weren't ready for picking anyway, so the rats obviously aren't as picky as I am. So in the end, when deciding when to harvest your corn, the husk needs to be fully dried off. Oh, there's my oven timer. The base should be wider at the bottom, a bit of weight in the, the ear or cob of corn, and you can have a sneak peek inside as well. Maybe not that much, but I've already picked it, so no harm. I don't want to take it all off until I'm ready to eat because the husk helps to keep it nice and fresh, stops it from drying out. It's not as yellow as it might be, but as I said, this is the first time I've grown this variety. If this still isn't sweet enough, then I will just add it to cooking, but there's nothing nicer than sweet corn, picked fresh and eaten then and there on the spot.